Hi everybody and welcome to Good Interest. So in the last video we created UDP connection. So we simulated UDP TCP. Let's simulate UDP as well as TCP in one simulation. So that let's check out the packet losses and let's check out the difference. Let's see them in one single screen. So this is the last file which we were doing now I'm just gonna create a new and three then I'm just going to do this it's gonna be a node and then I'm just connect I'm just going to connect it to n1 so it's gonna be from n3 to n1 and it's gonna be it's gonna have the same 1 MB and 50 milliseconds in drop tail alright now I'm just going to I'm just going to change here a little bit it's gonna be from 3 to 1 then it's n1 is going to appear so n3 should be above above n1 n1 should be somewhere here and n3 should be here and uh, n0 should be right here so n3 uh, n1 should be right side of n r n3 and then below so it should be like right down then here n0 should be uh, n1 should appear uh, right side of n0 and should be above so it's like up so you could mix up values from left right up down here so these values are really for the norm so these things are only for uh, giving changes visually all right so now here we have our udp and it's going to be just the same now let's check out uh we I just made a copy uh, in one of our videos. If you just see, we just I just made a copy of the test before we uh, we uh, we used UDP. So I just made a copy of TCP so that it be so easy for me to just copy and paste this thing. I'm just gonna paste it, paste everything right to here. Now I'm uh, this TCP uh, is going to be N3. I'm just going to attach it to N3. So N0 already has UDP. That is it. Yes. N0 already has UDP, and so N3 uh, I'm attaching it TCP, and then TCP sync. I'm going to attach it with N2. So here the null is going to be with N2. So as well as TCP sync is also going to be with N2. Now it, the rest follows. So I'm just going to give another command like NS. Hey NS at 1.2. Start. Start. FTP. S T A R T. It's going to start FTP. I'm just going to save it. Then let's create a separate color for the FTP. So just put some here, man. Yes, right here. So it'll be N S. Then C O L O R. It's going to be. I'm going to make a new class, color class. Then just it's going to be red. Mm, I'm going to attach it with this TCP. So it's going to be TCP set class and then 2. So that we have different colors for UTP and TCP. Alright, now when I, so here my application is complete. When I execute this, I get an error. Why didn't I get any error, man? Yes, unexpected. Let's check out this.
this works. So from 0 we are creating a UDP connection to 2 and then at 1.3 I'm just creating a TCP connection and here it sends can I connect with 2 yes of course it acknowledges and then now it sends 2 messages then the node 2 acknowledges again 2 acknowledgement goes to 3 and now here we have more number of so the window size is increased so more number of uh, connections are coming up and even the um, acknowledgements now it's going to be even more So normally you should not execute it as like that since we have two uh, kind of connections in a single uh, simulation you need to create a flow ID so that our simulation becomes more reliable so that it gives it becomes so accurate we got errors like unexpected right so in order to avoid such errors you need to after connection or after creating a UDP handler you just have to say UDP set the flow ID flow ID and since we are passing it after UDP it's going to be a property of UDP and it's flow ID and then underscore then now I'm just going to give it an ID it's going to be one and this one is it's different to this one right this one is for color and it's totally different here we're giving a flow ID now I'm just going to give a separate flow ID for TCP and it's going to be TCP set flow ID then I'm going to give it 2 now when I run this one this again gets adjust I'm not able to see a packet loss man come on I need a packet loss so packet loss didn't happen still we got a problem now let's try setting a queue size oh it's 1 Mbps in 50 milliseconds so it's never going to have a packet loss so let's reduce it a bit 0.5 mbps bandwidth then let's check out now which should have a packet loss yup our uh, first packet loss man this is what we were waiting for so our this bandwidth is quite it's half the bandwidth of these two bandwidths so it's gonna it's not able to send the packets properly so we're gonna have a packet loss just in the node 1 so this is not quite appealing so let's just change the visual appeal and let's see this for one more time we're just going to put in two commands then it's gonna say hey ns just q limit q u e u e l i e limit q limit to five packets Q N one two N two it's gonna be five packets. So I just want I just want the Q limit to be five. If if five more packets 
waits in the queue I just want to drop it so it says that and now let's just see it let's give some values for norm so that we are visually we are visually able to see the held up packets so it's gonna be a operation duplex up lx op then it's gonna be between n1 and n2 n1 and n2 and it's gonna be q e p o s q position 0 0.5 now when I run the same application it's reaching to very slowly and now we have a TCP connection request then the data are flowing in we will see the queues since I have reduced the queue limit to 5, we see a packet loss. Now more data are coming in, we have a queue increase and then here we have a packet loss. So here I want to make a point, TCP is reliable, right? So TCP acknowledges. So it just knows that it is complete. To the node two is completely busy and it stops sending messages. See. And in before while running the simulation first time, we could see there was no packet loss. So it has waited for a long time and sending the message again. So this is just so cool and this simulation tells us that TCP is highly reliable and UDP is, is a connectionless and it's completely based if you want if you want to transfer some secure data right so this sets this video and then see you guys in the next video I'm just too sleepy man bye from coding faster